in the previous video we would uh, calculated the output of the high pressure compressor we saw it to be 1546 kilopascals and 774.45 degrees Kelvin okay so now we're going to go to the uh, combustion uh, chamber one of the parameters we were given at the start was that the combustion pressure loss was 0 0.02 therefore we're going to get 98 percent of the input pressure uh, on the output side so pressure at 0.6 the output of the combustion can that is going to be uh, 98 percent of 1546 this is a 1546 here so when I multiply that out I get 1515.34 the temperature out well we were told that the maximum turbine inlet temperature uh, which is also the output of the combustion can was 1380 so that was a given so we don't have to calculate that however if I want to work out what fuel we've used um, I could do that by looking at what energy we put in to the combustion chamber and comparing that with the energy we get out so the energy we put in well we had a heating value of the fuel and we're going to multiply that by the mass of the fuel to work out what energy we get from the fuel and multiply that by the efficiency of the combustion uh, can how efficient is it at burning that fuel and I'm going to add on to that the enthalpy of the air coming in so that's the um, enthalpy of the air coming in here and um, adding these two together is going to equal the enthalpy of the air going out um, what air is that well it's a mixture of the air that came in and the spent fuel by the specific heat capacity of the exhaust gases by the temperature here at station 6 okay so there's my equation and if I let um, the fuel to air ratio F be equal to the mass of fuel to divide by the mass of air and then I divide across all of this by the mass of air I will get that so mass of fuel divided by the mass of air gives me F mass of air divided by the mass of air is just one mass of fuel divided by air is F mass of air divided by the mass of air is just one and then I just rearrange that equation to bring the F's to one side okay so I can say F times NCC HV minus F times CP gas T06 so bring that to one side and I'm left at CP gas T06 this guy here and CP air T05 there then calculate the fuel to air ratio and just divide one by the other alright so when I plug in the numbers um, CP of gas is 1140 joules per kilogram CP of air is 1005 joules per kilogram the temperature at station 6 is 1380 and the temperature at station 5 is 774 the efficiency of the combustion can was 99% the heating value of fuel is uh, 48 mega joules per kilogram and these are just repeated so when I plug those in I get a value of 0 0.0173 okay so I'm going to plug that in here into my list of results I now have a fuel to air ratio of 0 0.0173 so in the next video, we'll look at what is the output of the low pressure turbine.